made it to the Gulf. If you're just joining us, we're Connie and Chua, and we live on the road with our two dogs, Cora and Archer. We relaxed, experienced new things, and celebrated. Life was a beach and all was well. Until it wasn't. Now back to where we left off. We're at the Gulf of Mexico now, and I'm feeling very pooped out. I'm gonna travel for like three hours. <laughs> it's one o'clock and we didn't eat anything all day. Chua just had a Red Bull and I had a coffee. I'm checking my football stats. There's Cora begging for food. But we're settled in now. I just had a fail moment <laughs> so I recorded. Anyway, I'm bird watching right now, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at. Look at all of them. There are three of them all together. They're all different species, too. Oh, the pelican left. Oh, look at him, it makes me so happy. It's time to bring out the bird book. Oh, stopping by your friends. Oh, you heard me say friends? <laughs> oh, it's very zoomed in. Oh, they are! They are different! No, Corey, you're blocking me! Move, 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 move! They're all different! Oh, shoot! Cool! Alright. For one of them, I'm pretty sure is the marbled gadwit which is a lifer for me and what's the other one this one too long build curly right here with that super long beak cora are you trying to help archer escape Neighbors, sunset, someone's shoes left behind, and our rig. Good morning from the Mantis. Today is Wednesday, the 25th the day before Thanksgiving, and Chua and I are debating if we're going to be switching campsites today or tomorrow. He wanted to tomorrow, but I don't feel like moving on Thanksgiving, <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Look at all this trash. Look at all this trash. You guys. He is being forced to be a good person. <laughs> He's coming. So this beach that we're staying at, Bolivar Flats, is really trashy. So I decided to do a trash pickup day. Fill up a whole garbage bag full and I try to get Chua to help out. So he's doing that right now. My hands got kind of tired using the trash uh, picker upper, but 
I will have some strong hands if I keep doing that. We almost got a whole garbage bag full. I decided to put on some gloves and it's going a lot faster. Look at all of this plastic. It's just like plastic wrapping, bubble wrap. A lot of bottle caps in here. It's so random. Okay, I don't know if this is appropriate to share, but I saw our neighbors watching us. They got a garbage bag too. <laughs> it's so cool. Ripple effect. But look at it. It's a lot cleaner. We didn't go past this first mound because you're not supposed to go in the dunes because they're protected. So we've just been cleaning the edges here and the beach to the front of us. We're doing what we can though and it looks so much better. A small difference, but big difference in my heart. There's our neighbors. They just came and talked to me. Look at this bag. It is full. And we just did pretty much from here to maybe like right there-ish. And this is all the garbage we got. It's insane. And there's so much more shoreline too. I'm so happy to see them cleaning garbage too. They were wearing National Park shirts and the Nature Conservancy hats and all that so I know they love nature just as much as I do if not more. <laughs> but it really warms my heart. So we just got done cleaning the trash and it turns out that those people weren't our neighbors but just a random couple walking on the beach they came up and talked to me and said thank you and even though they know that what they're doing will make such a small impact it just makes her feel good and that's exactly how I feel too so plane going over <laughs> of course I don't know is just her saying thank you that's what I wanted to say to her too so to them I should say but anyway Cho went driving around a little bit in the car and saw another couple cleaning trash too so we're not the only ones that have this idea today. It's a really nice day and why not pitch in and do our part, take care of the planet. Just seeing how many birds depend on this place for food and habitat makes it all the more important to keep it clean here. So we're gonna go to the bird sanctuary and do some bird watching. I don't even know if you guys will be able to hear the audio in this video, but anyway, I'm really excited. And the sun is going to be setting in like an hour or two. Bolivar Flats Shorebird Sanctuary is a globally important bird area that is a unique combination of mudflats, salt marsh, prairie upland, and beach. Hundreds of thousands of birds flock here every year to breed, rest, and feed on the large supply of fish and invertebrates. The 1150 acres of protected shoreline provides habitat to various terns, gulls, songbirds, and shorebirds. For the ultimate bird nerd, I'm guilty. This is a dream come true. You probably won't ever see as many birds simultaneously as you do here. And if you do decide to take a trip, don't forget to bring a trash bag to help keep these birds happy and healthy. The birds thank you.
11, 16. Today is Thanksgiving, by the way. Woke up at 6. That's the earliest we've woken up. Oh, for the kitty. are getting ready for Thanksgiving in here. So I'm stuffing. <laughs> Look at my apple pie. <laughs> and some prepackaged mash. See what Chua's working on outside. Hey cutie. Look at this. We got turkey pot pie. <laughs> and some Swedish meatballs in here. Cooking. Mmm. Look how foggy it is. This is crazy. It's supposed to rain tonight, but it's so cool. When we got here, it was pretty clear. We could see the water. It can't really capture it on the camera, but hopefully you guys can see a little bit of it. The court feels damp. You feel wet. It's like misty. Mm -hmm. This is where the rig is. We have this pavilion. It has a grill and garbage, picnic table. Go inside, come on. Hey girl. Oh my gosh, you're so dirty. Go away. Alright then. Alright. <laughs> Starting to drizzle door. in the rain. You guys can see that, right? So we gotta get him a walk before the rain comes. And then we're stuck inside. No. Heel. No. Cora. <laughs> can't wait. Here's all the waves. She loves waves. No, no, no. Don't go in. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. And this is terrible. I just put this bowl here and it's gonna fill up already. from here. It's leaking through there. I don't know exactly where it's coming from. Up there. I'm getting wet. Okay, the sound good. Did it slow down, huh? Nope. This is the next morning. Look at how much water accumulated from here. It's terrible. Mm. Pouring outside, you can see all of the flooding happening out there. Left the runner out there. The shoes that are on the shoe rack are completely drenched. 
thought that would be a good idea to leave the car windows cracked open. What? <sighs> it's miserable today, guys. Joel's doing the airbags underneath. Let me get a video of your shirt. Oh my gosh. I just washed it, my hands in the puddle there on the grass. Hey guys. There's not an inch of dry space in here except the back seat where the dogs are. You can see that they are completely dry. <laughs> this is miserable today, but it's kind of funny. We have a story to tell, right? Man, everything is completely soaking wet. The whole RV, the shoes, the clothes. <sighs> you ready to go? One of us is going to get sick. What happens when your shirt gets drenched? You try to be good. bunch of water pull up on this canvas in front here and it all seems to be coming from these little rivets here on both sides oh my god we can hear too I don't know where the source is but it was pulling up right here at that corner one I know it's leaking over here too somewhere because this whole tapestry is wet and I'm sure back there, where the side hatches is drenched underneath. Oh, you can hear some water build up too, right here. All along here. And it's not just condensation. The mattress topper is wet again. Not fun. Just can't believe how wet it is in here. Everything is completely soaked in here. It was pouring rain when we got here and now the RV and FJ is stuck in mud at an Airbnb. We're drying everything right now with the electric heater. We have an electric hook up here. Thank goodness, because we need to recharge all of our batteries. Gonna do that, try to dry everything and hopefully tomorrow we'll have a sunny day and start airing everything out. We ended up staying here for two nights, and it was a good thing that we did. Everything needed a recharge, us included. In the end, it all worked out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.